Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen. My name is MJ, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. <laughs> I love taking these things out. Where's the other one? Where are you? <laughs> He's back there someplace. My favorite... One of my favorite things about being on a Corvax world is not only just like how cool these things are, these buildings, but um, the little pop-up doors, the windows that they, uh, all the windows they have. Oh, let's let's take care of this guy. Where is he? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Some little extras. Uh, boop, and there should be one more. Did I get him? I think I got him. Okay, cool. Well, hey, welcome to this um, to this world. This is just a little episode um, because I wanted to show off a couple of the cool things in this system. Uh, when I landed on this world, this system. Um, oops, nope. This this system had been discovered by somebody uh, already. And where is... Okay, so this system here, this Hinnababuritis, had been discovered by Centurion XX512. Uh, however, he didn't explore any of the planets. And this is the planet that we're on right now. And you guys can see I've... Named it uh, Igadawan. That was the uh, the name of the planet to begin with. But uh, this planet has murine, and man, this stuff is really cool. This is it here. Um, it's like this this gold kind of uh, this gold kind of thing, and it's it's pretty valuable on this planet. Um, it's you can even sell it for the sell it for a pretty good amount. What what I'm actually doing is because I don't know what it's going to be used for. It's right now it's not used in any um, uh, any recipes, but so I, I'm gonna leave when I leave the system. I want to leave with a, with a stack of 500, and uh, and I like I like Sean Murray's little little joke here: valuable commodity known for its charming qualities. So the the mer marine, um, but the thing that I think is most awesome about it. Is you only get four or five pieces from it, but when it goes, when you mine it, it's there's like that always that huge explosion, and it's just kind of cool. Um, it's it's all over this planet. It, it's, it's 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 available in fairly high, you know, fa a fairly high amount. Thankfully, I'm on a world right now that. Uh, the sentinels don't come running when um, when I mine it. Oh, there's some more over there. But yeah, it's got a really unique it's got a really unique look to it. And when you're when you're walking around, you can um, you can definitely see it from off in the off in the distance. So so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna oops. We're gonna mine out some of this stuff. We're gonna try to get our stack of five. Try, try to get our stack of five hundred, and then from there, I will head off to another planet in this system. I want to show you guys really cool, another really cool element, and it was the first time that I had seen it in, uh, in this form in this system. So I will catch you guys. In a minute, I'm gonna go do some. Uh, gonna go do some Murray hunting. <laughs> See you guys real soon. Hey, one other thing before I head on from this planet, uh, that the marine, when you scan it, doesn't show up as anything. It's just um, does not show up as a as an asterisk. So that would be. Uh, Something to something to keep in mind if you see this little uh, this little guy floating around on a floating around on a world. But when 
I join you guys next. We will be on our way, or I will be. Shoop, I will have been landed. We're landing on another world, and hopefully, I'll have been able to deal with this little bit of a laggy issue that I'm having right now. <laughs> so, I'll catch you guys there. And welcome to Peli Singcor. <laughs> this planet is cold, but we will not be staying here long. I just wanted to bring you guys over here to check these things out. That right there in the air, you kind of see it pulsing around and floating around. That is not, that is not an animal. Um, that thing is Radnox, and apparently on these extreme cold planets, um, Radnox, like, floats, like, this little, this little animal, bird-like thing. I wonder if I can land on it. Oh, I can! Ha ha ha. That's so cool. So, yeah. Oh, this is one I wish this had, like, a third third view I'd love to a uh, third person view I'd love to be able to see like what I look like but uh yeah so this stuff is so I mean Radnox it's just like an element it normally uh normally appears as when it's on the ground it's like a small green rock um but it's in um it's usually underneath of something else so it's hard to hard to find. Uh, I don't know. I think this is another one. I don't think it shows up on a. Yeah, it doesn't show up on a scan. So the Radnox is. This is. Oh yeah, Chrysonite. I don't know why I like. I don't. I don't know why I like collecting Chrysonite, but I do. <laughs> uh, so how much Radnox do I have? See, there's a lot of it on this planet. And, um, but yeah, this is an extreme cold planet. So, Radnox, I got 109 right now, and I got, uh, I don't have any in my ship right now. So, I did get my 500, I did get my 500 stack of, uh, Murine. So, I think I'm going to try to do the same thing here with the, with the Radnox in terms of getting a 500 stack, just kind of carrying it on with me, and then as I come across these rare elements, Sort of doing that same, you know, sort of doing that same thing. Oh, where'd it go? It floated, o it floated away, man. Wasn't it just like right? There was like some like, it was like, it was like right under it. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to keep myself, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like under it. Uh, so I got to make sure that I, I keep myself nice and, uh, nice and warm on this, pl on this planet. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna wander around a bit, collect ourselves some some Radnox, see what I can do, and then um, so. But that's it for uh, that's it for today. It's just a little bit of a resource gathering and showing off some of these cool elements that are in this system. Turns out there is one more unexplored planet in this system, so I'm gonna have to check that out at some point. But tomorrow we're gonna go hunting some vortex cubes. We're gonna we're gonna be on a angry crab planet and hunting vortex cubes. So that'll keep me uh, <laughs> that'll keep me entertained for a while, no doubt. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much as always for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. But as always, peace.